Thanks for joining us here at 10. I'm Jolene Chang. And I'm Kevin Ogle. And tonight we're learning more details about that gruesome murder scene. Six people killed in Henrietta earlier this week. A mom, her three children, and two of their friends all shot and killed. The killer then killing himself. A total of seven bodies were found. News Force Kaitor K has more details from law enforcement. Kaitor. The details are extremely difficult to hear. Okmulgee's police chief says all six victims had gunshot wounds to the head. The evidence is that Jesse McFadden murdered six people and then killed himself. Beyond that, I don't know what his thought process was. New disturbing details in a case that's horrified the state of Oklahoma and beyond. Okmulgee Police Chief Joe Prentice painting a clearer picture about the seven bodies found on a rural property in Henrietta on Monday. Evidence has led them to believe convicted rapist and registered sex offender Jesse McFadden shot his three stepkids in the head at his home, as well as two teenage girls that were spending the night with his stepdaughter. The chief also saying McFadden shot his wife Holly and himself. Holly McFadden suffered three gunshot wounds to the head and Jesse McFadden appears to have shot himself in the head. After 14-year-old Ivy Webster and 16-year-old Brittany Brewer went missing on Sunday, law enforcement obtained a search warrant for McFadden's home the following day. Southeast of the actual residence, they found the girls' bodies at a creek near the body of 17-year-old Riley Allen. And several hundred feet southeast of that, in a heavily wooded area, the bodies of McFadden, his wife, 15-year-old Michael Mayo, and 13-year-old Tiffany Guess. Without going into a lot of detail, that scene appeared to be staged to me. I think the bodies had been moved from where they were originally killed. Chief Prentice saying they still don't know the motive for the killings or the events that led up to them, emphasizing to the community that they'll never get all the answers to this indescribable tragedy. Normal people can't understand why. People that, that perpetrate crimes like this are evil and normal folks like us can't understand why they do that. We have a link on our website to help the families if you'd like to show your support.